In the previous video, we looked at using the VM support tool to create files for ESX top replay mode. In this video, we will cover in detail advanced packet capture with the PKT cap UW tool. First, we'll examine the features of the PKT cap UW tool, and then I will show you the various options we have for using the PKT cap user world tool so that we can uh, capture data at uh, different places in the chain between the VNIC of a virtual machine and either the switch or the actual physical NIC that's connected to the ESXi host. There are various filters that are available as well. So you can filter on source uh, IP, source MAC, uh, destination IP MACs, and uh, so on. So we will explore all those options as well. I think you will enjoy this lab as it goes into some advanced methods that are available for troubleshooting vSphere 6.x. So back in the lab, I'm logged into ESXi 201 hosts and we're going to look at the packet capture dash UW tool. So PKT cap dash UW. Now normally I would start off with a dash help. If I key in a dash help, you'll get a really long list of uh, options and uh, we will look at the help screen towards the end. We'll just work through a few uh, examples here. So packet capture gives, it, gives you the ability to capture uh, packets at different points. For example, you can uh, use this tool to uh, capture packets on an uh, uplink, for example, or on a VM kernel port. So we can begin with the VM kernel port because the command is very simple. So we just say dash dash VMK and then VMK0. And when I hit the enter key, uh, you will see the packets flow. Now, of course, you would assume that there is an option to capture it to an output file. And the answer is yes, there is. What would be the format of that file? The format would be your PCAP next generation format. So let's look at PKT cap dash user world and see we can capture packets at a VM kernel port. So dash dash VMK VMK0 and this time we will output it to a file. So dash O slash VMFS slash volumes slash data ORE one to dash test pickup and I hit the enter key and uh, these are the packets that are being now written to the test dot pcap uh, file so I hit a uh, control and this will go on until I disconnect here so I hit a control C and it's dumped 32 packets to test dot pcap we can do a, a quick more of slash vmfs slash volumes slash we understand uh, the idea obviously you run it to, into uh, some kind of an analyzer and uh, the normal one would be a wireshark what are the other things that can be done uh, let's now look at uh, pkt cap dash uh, user world and uh, uh, this time let's say we want to actually capture on a direction so slash slash uh, vm uh, kernel and uh, we specify the same one vmk0 uh, and this time we specify the uh, the di uh, direction direction is specified by dir uh, the value can be 1 which means it's going out or 0 which means it's coming in so packets coming in and packets going out so you can just imagine how useful this is you can filter on that now there are many other other filters uh, available as well. So if I if I put this uh, incoming, it'll these are the incoming uh, ones on that VM kernel port. Hit hit a control C again, and be uh, done uh, with that. So enough of the VM uh, kernel. We are now in a position to actually understand that there are options to specify the output file. There must be options to specify uh, how much of how much of this data to actually uh, capture and how many of these packets to capture and the answer is yes so we do the dirt zero and this time we specify a count say five packets and we snapshot them for the first 50 bytes of the packet okay so we are going to look at the packets coming into 
VM kernel uh, 0, 5 of them, and we'll take the first 50 bytes of that. And this is uh, much more uh, interesting, and obviously, uh, if you know how to read uh, hex, you can figure out uh, what exactly is uh, happening uh, out here. So we've covered a few of those options. It's now time to look at some more advanced options and the best, it's best done by looking at uh, packet uh, capture and it's time now to look at our, at the help file. So we say dash H and we pipe it to more because this is a very extensive output. Now the most important thing here is that, is this part, the create a session to capture the packet. So what do we do? Now we've looked at direction, that is zero is in and one is out. The stage is also 0 and 1 and what stage means before a certain point that would be a value of 0. So pre would be 0 and post would be 1. So pre and post. Now when is this uh, important? Well it's uh, important uh, because uh, you have in, in many cases uh, you want to check for example at a, a switch port. If you want to check at a switch port because you can specify the switch port and a port ID. So uh, using either ESX uh, CLI network commands uh, or different uh, ways you know through the vSphere uh, web client you can look at that as well so for a switch you can define you can find out what the port IDs are when you when you define a switch port you can also define whether it's going to it's in the incoming direction or the outgoing direction by dash dash dir but you can also specify whether it is before or 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 after it is used a lot with these DV filters, which are basically uh, places where one can put software filters into the I/O chain. The the LIF ID, okay, this is uh, for uh, NSX uh, essentially. Uh, this is the uh, logical interface, and that's the distributed uh, router. If there are modules uh, implemented in that chain, the module and the function can be specified. Of course, you can specify the the ports. We've looked at counts and the snap lengths. We looked at uh, out files, right? Trace is hardly ever used except probably by VMware support. Uh, let's look at uh, some of the other options. I'm going to leave this capture point to last because this is where the real power of this tool is. So let's look at some of this. So if you select a switch port, so for example, if you select port uplink and ether switch related capture points, then you can specify the switch port ID, as I said, uh, the logical interface ID of the you know virtual distributed router uh, and and the uplinks there are flow filter options available as well so you don't have to capture each and every packet you can specify based on matching source mac matching destination mac address or any mac address whether it is source or destination you can specify the various types ether types so it is it you know you can you can actually uh, check to see uh, what kind of uh, traffic is actually uh, flowing on, on there and uh, I would recommend you looking at the uh, eth type just just to google uh, on this and see the various uh, ethernet uh, types that are available and of course uh, you know on, on VLAN IDs but not only on VLAN IDs it's also on VXLAN so this is uh, really useful in an NSX uh, environment for example or if you have VXLANs implemented using uh, vShield or, or you know a vCloud director and so on uh, you can use the VXLAN uh, ID uh, as well. So you, the VNI uh, can be uh, specified as well. Obviously, the TCP ports, the destination ports, the source ports, it's all normal stuff. The IP addresses or whether it's the source IP, destination IP, they're all allowed. Extensive flow filter options. You don't have to capture each and every uh, packet. Now, let's look at those capture points. Now, this command is really important. Or rather, this option is very important for this, for this because it tells you what the various capture points are they mean well the supported capture points are these so you can insert dynamic runtime capture points uh, again i would leave it up to people that do internal uh, activities <laughs> to to actually do this uh, these two are interesting uplink receive and uplink send so at the point where a packet is received from the uplink device at the driver side Okay, so it's on the receive side and then you know on the driver side at the send side. You can also look at the VNIC. So the VNIC backend to transmit packets from guest and to guest. So this is looking at the virtual NIC uh, backend. Now here we have ether switch dispatch. So this is inside the switch, the function that receives packets for the switch and uh, from the switch. There are pre DV filters and post DV filters. These are basically software filters that can be inserted in an IO chain 
here is the TCP IP receive function and the transmit function and then of course you know inside the kernel as well this is for the uh, virtual distributed router the VDR uh, and this is also for the virtual distributed router for um, NSX so you can see there is an extensive array of capture points that can be specified by using the dash dash capture option that's uh, uh, available now one other aspect of uh, packet capture is to be looked at and that is uh, pkt cap dash uw and we will do a dash h and pipe it uh, to more now apart from the flow filter options that we've seen before the really important ones are the count because you usually need to specify a count and uh, it's best if you're writing to an output file to capture the entire packet including uh, the actual uh, payload uh, there, there as well dv filters uh, can be uh, obtained by the command summarize dash dv filter and this is where you have the uh, capture point dash dash capture capture point right and which which we and the list of capture points is obtained by the dash capital a uh, option now the stage is important because it is before and after a certain capture point so you can capture the packet before it may be manipulated by that capture point it's really important for example using uh, dv filters uh, are, are actually uh, used uh, for uh, different purposes so if you have an uh, intrusion uh, detection uh, system for example an ids or uh, some kind of a software firewall especially for example in nsx uh, you can have the distributed firewall uh, that's implemented in that io chain and then you can uh, check to see uh, before and after uh, whether the packet actually uh, passes through or not so you can check uh, to see whether that uh, firewall is, is working of course there are different other ways to check it as well but that was simply an example if there are other uh, third party uh, products uh, implemented uh, in uh, also in there that are uh, checking for uh, different uh, forms of malware for example uh, you can actually uh, then again see what the packet looks like coming in and what the packet looks like going out if it's been massaged by something in uh, in uh, between there's a use for it which I really need to check out but I assume that it would actually work is when a packet goes into a virtual uh, switch if we have set up the uh, class of service setting and the differentiated code point uh, setting which we have covered in uh, previous uh, videos it will be uh, interesting to actually see the packet before it hits the switch port and before those uh, COS settings and the DSCP settings are put in place and then after the switch port and as it goes out the physical NIC uh, to see whether those uh, settings have actually been uh, put in uh, by, by the switch I'm pretty sure that that should work but to me that would be a good uh, use case for example of this uh, uh, stage before and after and of course the direction would work as well uh, 0 and 1 in this in the in the example we just talked about it would be uh, for traffic uh, which would be going out of the ESXi host uh, which is basically incoming in from the virtual NIC of the guest virtual machine and then it will be it will be massaged uh, with the class of service uh, as well as DSCP markings and then it will be uh, sent out uh, to the physical uh, switch so a very very uh, powerful uh, utility that's uh, not very well known I would highly recommend that you look at the VMware documentation for it it will really come in handy handy for your shoot, uh, troubleshooting uh, purposes in this video we covered using the pkt cap dash uw tool for troubleshooting in the next video we will look in detail at managing simple network management protocol snmp support in vsphere 6.x i look forward to seeing you there